Here's a pro tip for you, Mel, if you're going into criminal activity. Okay. If, if, you, if you must carjack and steal a car, do not connect your iPhone configured with your name to the car's Bluetooth. Oh. A, a criminal complaint <laughs> said an iPhone connection helped police identify one of two people involved in a carjacking at a parking ride in Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. Uh, Wilkesburg. The uh, victim told police two people followed her off a bus to her car, demanded her cell phone and keys. Police found the car a couple hours later and said the people that were inside hopped out and ran. As the investigation unfolded, police said uh, Westinghouse High School security guard identified one of the suspects, Darnell Cameron Jr. of Wilkinsburg, from bus surveillance video. Police said another clue came from within the stolen car, which showed a device named Daryl's iPhone was connected to the vehicle. <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> oh, Daryl. Oh, Daryl. And a woman found with hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of cocaine in the tires of her wheelchair has been arrested. Oh. Oh my gosh. Melinda Paulino de Rivas, Rivas was uh, pulled over by customs officials after they noticed the wheels of her wheelchair were no longer spinning properly. You would have thought they'd have been spinning a whole lot faster. <laughs> An x ray revealed tubes of cocaine weighing 28 pounds oh my pack, gosh. packed inside the chair's wheels with an estimated street value of $450,000. They asked her what she was doing. She said, Hey, this is how I roll. Stop it. So and then there's just this headline, is all you need to know. Eight people. Charged an international monkey smuggling ring. They just dressed him up like radio station employees and nobody noticed. Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more wherever you get social media. Look for Mel and Scott in the morning.